Have you ever thought about how runny your eggs can truly be? Because, like, I prefer a semi-runny egg. So one that's good for dipping when bacon and putting on a sandwich and stuff. But man, when it's in a sandwich, it can get really messy, which I guess kind of sucks. So, I don't know. Am I a scramble guy or am I a yolky kind of guy? Hmm. The real questions in life. Hello, everybody. This is that manga dude and welcome to another pickups video. Today, we are talking about everything that I picked up in the month of June. And, uh, yeah, this was a, uh, I would say a little bit more scarce uh, than usual. Uh, I was really busy during June. June was a very, very, uh, uh, very busy month just across the board. Just a variety of things going on. Uh, went back home for a bit. Uh, had a birthday or two to celebrate. And um, yeah, just overall, it was extremely busy. So um, I really can only buy manga now uh, on the weekends. And all my weekends were pretty much busy. So <laughs> uh, yeah, but I did get some great stuff. And I'm really excited to get into it. So um, yeah, let's get started right now. All right, as with all of my manga haul pickups, whatever you want to call them, I always start in the first section with one, publishers I didn't get a lot of manga from, or two, publishers that are now defunct or gonzo or dunzo. So uh, yeah, so the first manga I'm going to be talking about is The Girl Who Leapt Through Time from Ranmaru Kotone, Yasutaka Tsutsui, uh, Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, and Tokikake Film Partners. Um, so, this was a manga published about the movie, which if you have not seen the movie, it is a fantastic movie, I believe. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to say who the director is, because I don't remember it right now, <laughs> even though uh, I really did, I really do enjoy this movie. So, didn't know there was a manga for it, but it's really cool to have it, and I got it for pretty cheap. So, uh, yeah, excited to check this out and uh, read it. All right, coming up next through Del Rey, I got Sugar Kara Volume 2 uh, from Peach Pit. This was in pretty dang good condition, so I decided to pick it up even though I haven't read the first volume. I've heard a lot of people say it's really fun, it's really a good time, so uh, yeah, excited to get into it. Coming up next from Seven Seas, I got Night of the Living Cat Volume 4 from Hawkman and Mecha Roots. This has been a series that I have been thoroughly enjoying. It's a very hilarious uh, horror comedy uh, that has a bunch of twists and turns that you won't be expecting, but man, it is just devilishly funny. It's just a lot of just great jokes just across the board, and uh, the art's pretty solid as well. So overall, uh, yeah, excited to get into this one. Up next, decided to pick up the 10th volume of Koume Fujichika's The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. It's crazy that this is in double digits now, uh, but this is a pretty simple rom-com about a guy who is totally in love with this girl who always forgets to wear her glasses. So um, it's about their relationship together and stuff like that. So it's a fun one. I think it's cute. I think it's adorable. I think the guy is a little cringe, but that's to be expected for middle school slash high school, uh, to be fair. So yeah, excited to get into this one when I can. And up next, I decided to pick up the second volume of Shunsuke Serato's The Girl with the Sampaku Eyes. Uh, this was a really cool first volume when I read it, uh, at least the first volume for the series. Uh, it's a mostly full color series following the story about this girl who uh, has Sampaku Eyes, which I guess is like a... Um, a word to describe like people who have like kind of like that mean looking face, but she's also she's very wholesome She's very kind and is totally in love with this dude, but has a hard time like trying to express her feelings about it um, So it's pretty adorable at least the first volume was so I uh, had to get the second one Okay, going into publishers I got a little bit more from. We have ourselves from Yen Press, Bochi the Rock, Volume 2 from Akihamazi. Um, yeah, I read the first volume a while ago, and I was like, this was pretty fun. Did it for a whole uh, FBI, and then, man, finding the second volume not completely destroyed has been extremely difficult, but basically it follows a story about this girl here, who is a total shut-in, uh, but loves playing music, loves playing guitar. Uh, she's pretty popular on YouTube, so she ends up joining a band at the... Um, at the request of one of the other people here, uh, and they create a band together, and they are the Merry Band of Misfits. They're very weird, they're very odd, but they are so great together. It's like, um, imagine K-On, but cringe. Um, <laughs> uh, it's kind of the same idea, except for, uh, obviously there's a lot of different things, but it is also a four coma, like K-On, um, and it's just a fun time. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit out there, but it's focused on music and stuff, Bochy the Rock is right up your alley. 
All right, up next, decided to pick up, uh, well, I didn't necessarily pick this up, but uh, my fiance picked this up for me. This is uh, Delicious in Dungeon Volume 2 from Ryoko Kui. Um, she uh, she actually got it for me, uh, but it is part of my collection in terms of like early Dungeon Mesh she is, so uh, I am showing this in my haul. So um, yeah, great series. Uh, obviously just got had a very successful anime come out through Netflix that I have unfortunately not been able to watch. But if you don't know the story of this one, it's about a, uh, a group of adventurers who uh, lose like one of their main members uh, to a dragon, and they've come to find out that they're super poor, so they're like, well, we need to be able to go back into the dungeon to try to save her, uh, but the only way they can do that is to try to find a way to make money. They end up meeting this guy over here, his name is Senshi, who is like, well, you don't have to spend money on food if you could just make, uh, make with what you get down here in the dungeon. Uh, so it's kind of like an interesting adventure cooking um, manga. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, written really well. It has a lot of interesting themes, especially in the second volume. Uh, spoiler alert, I did read it, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens. I'll talk about that in the reading log. But uh, really cool to have this, and I can't wait to keep getting more volumes. All right, up next from Tokyo Pop, I picked up two and three of Since I Could Die Tomorrow from Sumako Kari. Uh, this was an interesting uh, series, at least the first volume was, but basically follows the story about this woman here who ends up suffering from something and uh, she thinks she's going to die. Um, and then uh, starts to kind of like reevaluate her life and what she wants to do in case she, you know, she does die tomorrow, as the name suggests. Um, so it's a pretty interesting series. Uh, focuses obviously on more of an adult uh, character, which is awesome to see. Uh, and we get to just see kind of like the slice of life slash almost like coming of age in a way strange thing about it um but really really liked the first volume so excited to have these next two all right also from tokyo pop old school uh this is dn angel volumes five and six from Yukiru, uh, Yukiru Sugisaki, so happy to have this. Um, I've been slowly but surely collecting this series, and it's been a lot of fun uh, when I have read it. I haven't read it in a bit, though, so I definitely need to catch up. All right, coming in from Kadansha. I got a lot from Kadansha. So uh, up, I got volume five from Welcome to Demon School Rumakun from Osamu Nishi. Uh, been a really fun series that I've been enjoying quite a bit, and I know I am behind, but I will slowly but surely catch up. Up next, decided to pick up the second volume of Sketchy from uh, Maki Hirochi, uh, which was a series that I didn't even know existed uh, when I got the first volume, and was completely blown away by how awesome it was, so um, I'm really happy to have the second volume. It is another uh, kind of like adult, uh, adult following their childhood passion or uh, figuring out a new passion and uh, showing how you can be any age to start a new hobby or anything, so it's really fun. I like the first volume a lot, and I'm really excited to get into the second one. Up next, Welcome to the Ballroom, Volume 3 from Tomo Takauchi. I loved the first couple of volumes. I was completely blown away, and I kicked myself in the back, uh, being like, I wish I had started reading this sooner, uh, so I could have understood the hype while it was releasing, or while it is releasing, because it is still, I think, currently releasing in English, but uh, really happy to have this third volume, and I cannot wait to read it. All right, up next, decided to pick up The Fable Volume 2. I am covering it because it does have a weapon on it, and I do not want to get uh, suspended here on YouTube. Uh, but this is the hilarious series from Katsuhisa uh, Minami, following a story about this guy here. His name is, the, he's called The Fable, uh, and he is an assassin, uh, or was an assassin, and now he must go on a one-year hiatus living in a, a small city just trying to lay low, basically. So it's about his antics, because all he's really known is being an assassin and being kind of an idiot. Um, so he has to try to survive normal life it is super hilarious it's super weird it's super goofy but can also get really serious sometimes which is a uh, fun little contrast throughout the story uh, but i love it i've been really enjoying it and i'm super happy to have the second volume up next, of course, got to talk about it. Wand Dance Volume 9 from Coffee. Love this series to death. I talk about it all the time, and that's because it's one of my current favorite releasing series. It has appeared on multiple lists <laughs> that I have created, and for good reason. So happy to have this, and can't wait to talk about it in the reading log. Up next, decided to pick up the first volume of The Fragrant Flower, Blooms with Dignity, Volume 1 from Saka Mikami. I talked about this in my most recent FBI, so if you want my full opinions on that, you can go check out that video. Um, but I also will be doing a TLDR in the reading log next week. Up next, Shonen Note Boy Soprano Volume 7 from Yuki Kamatani. Super happy to have this. This is a series that I've been thoroughly enjoying. 
uh, follows a story about a boy soprano who is uh, kind of like learning how uh, how important or I guess how big his voice is, but he's also suffering from the pressure from all of that and how he's coping and dealing with all this uh, this new pressure and new kind of just like overall societal pressure, but also his own what he desires versus what he can do and a variety of other things. So it's a really really great series if you're looking for uh, an awesome series that tackles the idea of like imposter syndrome and struggling with fame uh, and overdoing it because you feel like you're obligated to do something um definitely check this one out it's a lot of fun and last but not least for kodansha we have ourselves magic knight rare Earth part one book three from clamp uh been loving love, love, love loving this series um and it's been really enjoyable false story about these three girls who get teleported uh who get isekai'd funny enough uh into a completely different world where they now must try to save the world with their new magical powers it's fun it's a crazy mix of different genres but man i am enjoying it quite a bit so excited to get into this one as soon as possible all right for the final section of this video we always almost always do the viz media section so let's get right into it so for the shoujo section i picked up this thing called be with you from Takuji Ichikawa, Sai Kawashima, and Yoko Ino. I don't know what this is, but this is just like a really interesting thing that I saw at a Half Price Books that I went to. And um, yeah, I've never seen it before, so I decided to pick it up on a whim. And yeah, hopefully it's good. It looks like it's a one shot, so I'm definitely interested to see what it's all about. All right, up next, from a local bookstore up north, I actually managed to pick up volumes seven, eight, and nine of Clamps X 1999. Uh, really happy to have this. I've been really enjoying the series and uh, was struggling to find the next couple of volumes and lo and behold, I got lucky and managed to pick up the next three that I needed. So super happy to have these uh, and I can't wait to continue reading it. All right. From Viz Signature, we have ourselves Magi Lumiere Magical Girls Incorporated. Uh, this is volume two from Seka Iwata and Yu Aoki. Um, but it was really, it's a pretty cool series. Uh, follows a story about this uh, office lady here who has suddenly become, uh, or who suddenly joined a magical girl group uh, or team or company or whatever you want to call them because, uh, yeah, she was looking for a job and she got hired. So um, it's about her now living her magical girl life um in this interesting tech world so it's a lot of fun uh, i love the first volume or i really enjoyed the first volume i would say i loved it but i, I did really like it and uh yeah excited to have the second one. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me up next, decided to pick up the first volume of Saturn Apartments from Hisae Iwaoka. Um, I don't know much about this. I, I did pass up uh, picking up some of these volumes way back when, uh, but saw it again at a, a half price books uh, from where my parents live and uh, decided to pick it up. So uh, hopefully it's good. It looks interesting. The art style is very unique. So yeah. Up next, decided to pick up the sixth volume of Insomniacs After School from Makoto Ojiro. It has been one of my favorite uh, slice of life um, romance series. I love this series so much, and I'm so happy to have the sixth volume. Up next, decided to pick up the first volume of Full Night from Kasumi Yasuda. Uh, talked about this in the most recent FBI, so definitely go check that out if you want my full opinions on it. But uh, yeah, really cool to have this in English print. Um, and excited to talk more about it in the reading log. Up next, I decided to pick up the fourth volume of Strawberry 100% from Mizuki Kawashita. Managed to find it for an extremely good price, aka I got it for um, the cover price, which is really surprising considering the series is out of print and pretty rare. Uh, but yeah, happy to have this one. I've talked about it a couple times, but now I finally have volumes one through six together. Um, this series follows a story about this guy who is like a movie buff and wants to direct his own film, and he becomes inspired after he sees a girl jump over him, and she, he, she flashes him and she's wearing strawberry panties so he suddenly has an epiphany and he's like I need that girl to be my star in my movie so it's a really silly and kind of goofy premise and it's a very uh, interesting rom-com but yeah I definitely need to continue reading this now that I have uh, more than one volume 
Up next, decided to pick up the fifth volume of Shoha Shoten from Ak Akinari Asakura and Takashi Obata. This has been a series that I've been really enjoying recently, uh, but it follows the story about these two guys who uh, decided to become a manzai com comedy duo in high school. Um, I would say it's like Bakuman, um, but written a lot better, <laughs> or a lot less misogynistically, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, the female characters are actually genuinely interesting. They're not just there as like show pieces, uh, which is really great. So. Uh, really happy to have this one. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm excited to read this fifth volume. All right, up next, decided to pick up the 16th volume of Mashal Magic and Muscles uh, from Hajime Komuto. We are coming up to the end game. We are now officially towards the end. You can definitely tell this series is going to end soon, but super happy to have this series. Uh, it's been a lot of fun reading this, uh, this wonderful Harry Potter satire. Um, yeah, can't wait to keep reading it. Up next, it's the sixth volume of Akane Banashi from Yuki Suenaga and Takamasa Moe. I have talked your ears off about this series, so if you want my full opinions on it, you can just go check out the bajillion reading logs about this specific series. Um, it's so much fun. It's a fantastic sh shonen series. You really should check it out. It's just, it's so good. Up next, the first volume of Naruto Sasuke's story, the Uchiha and the Heavenly Stardust, the manga. Volume 1, What a Mouthful. This is from Masashi Kishimoto, Jun Asaka, and Shingo Kimura. This is a spin-off series that is based off of a light novel, if I remember correctly. So this is the manga for it, which is really cool. Excited to check this one out. Um, Actually, just kidding. I already checked it out. <laughs> uh, I did this for the FBI, so if you want my full opinions on it, you should go check it out. Up next, decided to pick up the second volume of Gokura Kugai from Yuto Sano. This is a super awesome series that I just uh, recently picked up. I believe I did it for an FEI a couple months ago. And yeah, really happy to have the second volume. I can't wait to give you my opinions on it in the reading log. And last but not certainly, certainly not least, I managed to get One Piece, One Piece, uh, volume 106 early. Uh, this is the uh, beginning of Egghead, so super, well, technically the first volume to have the Egghead mark on the side. Uh, it's technically the second volume in Egghead, but really happy to have this. You know, One Piece is fantastic. I love it so much. One of my favorite series of all time. And uh, yeah, happy to have this a little bit early. And that is going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. What did you pick up in the month of June 2024 or whatever month you're watching this in? Let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate it when you guys comment. Those are all, <laughs> you guys are all awesome. Uh, and you give a lot of great opinions, a lot of great uh, interesting ideas and manga and stuff like that. So I always do keep that in mind uh, when I'm doing videos and stuff uh, or when I want to pick up a new series. So uh, remember, yeah, just keep throwing down uh, like what you're picking up and what you're reading. I love it when you do that. And uh, you know what to do. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Those are all amazing things. I really appreciate it when you do those things. You can also join my membership if you want uh, to get these videos a little bit early. Uh, so I think it's I think I have it set at two dollars or one ninety nine. So thank you so much to Reg C Lee for continuing to be an awesome, awesome supporter. Uh, really appreciate it. It's awesome, and you don't have to. You can just keep watching uh, because that helps a lot as well. So that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.